Greetings everyone, in this video I want to talk about grieving. Grieving a loss. Greetings! This infinite source truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. So in this video I want to talk about death. And this could apply to um, loss of a relationship or the death of a relationship also but grieving. Now, well, I'm going to also add expectations. Sometimes, first I'm going to talk about death. Say a grandparent or a parent passes away. They've finished their scripting here whether they're a source player or a soulless one, it doesn't matter. We're just going to talk about the expectations when someone dies. Now, some people will be overwhelmed with grief and loss. And others, because those relationships have been so far removed from them, they haven't, you know, they, they visit maybe their parents once a year or their siblings or whoever it is. I mean, it's a very, it's supposed to be a very close relationship, but in actuality, it's a very distant relationship. And since they are not in their life every day, there is this thing about expectations about how you should feel, what your emotions should be over the loss of a parent, a grandparent, or a loved one. And sometimes, you may realize that the feelings aren't there. It's, you're neutral. And that's actually beneficial. And then you play the part of being sad and mourning because everybody else around you is sad and mourning and that's the script and that's what you're supposed to do. Now, you're going to have to work your way through that, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with not being grief stricken or being emotional about the death of um, someone in this game. Neutrality is beneficial to you. And if you are truly grieving the loss and you need to evaluate the root of those emotions and why, and then not linger or dwell in them longer than you need to. Many times the grief comes simply as a pre-programmed response that you should have, I say that should have, that culturally is viewed upon that you should have and your subconscious will give it to you because your subconscious says, well, that's the programmed way of doing it and that's the acceptable way of doing it and so therefore I need to fit in and so therefore uh, the grief and overwhelming sadness will come on you because of your subconscious programming. Now, can you feel that way temporarily? Sure, but don't stay there. Don't stay there because it's a lower frequency. And it will take you right down and it will draw energy from your synergy cell and will take you right down. You need to experience it, see it for what it is, and then it out. You got five seconds. You start feeling sad and, and, and dismal and feeling the loss, then you need to use the five second rule and whisk it out of your mind and start and refocus. Refocus your attention onto something that is good, happy that you can enjoy in your now day. Refocus your attention on something that will benefit you, that brings you happiness and joy, and uh, move out of that emotional uh, vortex of grief. Now, I will say, a lot of times, when somebody dies, you always want to think the best of them. And those are the things that will come to your mind and you'll forget all of the negative things and that's okay, but let's bring it into reality here. Not everyone is perfectly nice and sweet all the time. And I'm sure that that person who died did some things to you that uh, weren't so nice either. And 
actually they probably bounce out and so you can be neutral about it but no one ever says anything about that dead person that wasn't a nice thing that they did because they want people to remember them in their nice state of being get real get real and then again what does that person outside of you have to do with you but there may be expectations there may be expectations from you as to you need to be with the family by that uh, dying person or by that casket and that's a choice that you have to make you see and you can have no regrets about it no regrets you need to do the subconscious work you need to find out why it is exactly and then make choices that benefit you now if you're a long way away from uh, all of that then it's easy to make excuses for not going to a funeral or whatever as if you need an excuse but sometimes you do and it makes you feel better to have an excuse but that's okay too now that has to do with death now let's talk about death of a relationship which well that other person is still very much alive and they have a life and they're living it and you can sometimes observe them living their lives and being happy and you are sucking on lemons because you are the one who was left and you didn't dissolve that relationship the other person did now this is something that you're going to have to work on it's an inside job and again it's self-worth it's self-worth issue now you may have some pains and uh, grief because you're left with the cleanup the act of cleaning up the uh, the household home and all of this stuff and financially it may hurt you or hinder you temporarily but you will get through it you will get through it, and you will discover that it was for your best experiences that lay ahead embrace it don't look at it as something that is horrible and terrible because you will create it to be so look at it as something beneficial that the stage is changing the scripts are changing that it's a new chapter and you make out of it what you create it to be if you want to look at a failed relationship or a dissolved relationship as something horrible and terrible then that's how you will experience it and your next chapter could be challenges but if you look at it as mutually agreeable and beneficial to you then your next chapter can be one of your best life yet your best life yet doesn't is not dependent upon outside people is not dependent on people outside of you it is an inside job it is an inside job now it's likely that many of you that are watching this are in grief or experiencing this and this may be very hard for you to listen to but it is for your best to hear this because you need to realize that you have the choice of turning this loss into something that benefits you or takes you down and the choice is always yours no one else's it's not that other person who left it's not their choice it's yours your choice your inner choice now if you have found these videos to be beneficial to you then it benefits you to say thank you via a gift using PayPal and the link is in the description box below as it is an inside work within you and a flow within you that unlocks frequencies for you that you can accomplish no other way it is an inside job abundance health and prosperity to you